Hi everyone, my name is Gina Sims and I run the Autism Theatre Project. I have a confession to make. I, I started the Autism Theatre Project out of frustration. Uh, my sister is on the autism spectrum and I love her a lot and when you love someone a lot you're able to see the potential in that person. You, you can see who they could be. But because of her condition and the struggles that she has, I found that it was hard to get other people to see that same potential. So with the Autism Theater Project, it was my dream to create something very big, uh, whether on stage or on screen, that would show people that the potential of this population, the autistic population, is truly beyond what we may expect. In many ways, it can be limitless. So I started this organization when I was in high school, and I started it with a drama workshop series, a series of educational programs in which I would do these drama classes where children would begin to get out of their shells and, and learn how to express themselves and empathize with each other through scenes and, and role play. So, Autism Theatre Project, ATP for short, began as this educational organization. And then when I went to college, it started to evolve into the production company that I dreamed of it becoming. Uh, our first production was inspired by my sister, and it's called In the Life of a Child. And it's a play that's basically about a little girl on a playground who dreams that the kids on the playground could hear the voice inside her head. And in the play, the girl is nonverbal. It was an especially fulfilling experience for me creating these productions because the way that ATP approaches our work is that we go to members of the autism community and we interview them and connect with them and find out from them what it is that they want other people to know about their experiences. And through the process of creating this play, I was able to bond with my professor who has a brother with autism or had a brother with autism, he recently passed away. And it was so moving to bond with her in a way over our mutual frustrations with, with feeling like people didn't see the potential of who our siblings could be. Um, so essentially this play really opened people's eyes and it made me realize that my unique story is powerful. And even though as a, a member of someone of an autism family, I could feel isolated at times. I realized that our stories are universal and they're powerful and we have a lot to teach the world. So fast forward to 2020, the infamous pandemic, I found myself homeschooling my sister and also facing a tragedy. Um, one of my students, one of ATP students in one of our drama workshops passed away, it was actually murdered by his mother. He was drowned. And he was a, a nonverbal autistic nine-year-old boy. And when I was reading about this story and realized that this child was my student, I saw a quote from the mother that said that he's in a better place now. And I found that so chilling to me because this mother truly didn't see any hope for her son for the future. She didn't see this world as a place where he would be able to have a lot of fulfilling experiences as an adult. She saw him as helpless. Um, so I wanted to shift that perspective, like I always have, but I, I was even fueled even more so to do so. And especially while homeschooling my sister, I wanted to show people that, look, when it comes to the potential of children, um, we could put a ceiling on them with our own preconceived expectations. That's too low. And when the ceiling is too low and the child somewhere deep inside feels like they could achieve even more, we create a frustration for them. Um, and when I was homeschooling my sister, I was faced with the challenge of raising my own ceiling in my mind for what she could achieve and who she could become, even as we faced frustrations on a, a daily basis. Um, and. Uh, so my 2020 was bookended basically by this tragedy with my student dying and also this success story uh, in which my sister read aloud for the first time. Um, 
And when I saw her reading out loud for the first time, I, I was thinking, you know, I dreamed of this moment three years ago when I first started trying to teach her how to read. And it happened later than I wanted it to, but it happened. And I believe that hope is essential for caregivers and educators to be able to help the autism population or any population really reach their highest potential. So basically this, this experience in 2020 led to ATP's latest production, which is a television series called The Voice Inside. And The Voice Inside is based on true stories from young adults on the spectrum who were able to beat the odds and overcome things that a lot of people told them they wouldn't be able to do. We've created this community online because you know during the pandemic we couldn't really see each other. Uh, and together we created a series that we believe is going to inspire hope, especially for teenagers, but really for, for all people in everyone's potential, whether you're on the spectrum or not. Uh, so we've been writing, working together, hiring autistic actors, and everyone has really been able to surprise themselves with what they've been able to achieve through this series. And we're very excited to see the series inspire that same feeling in our audiences. Um, another major goal that the Autism Theater Project has began to accomplish is employing young adults on the spectrum. There's a very disheartening statistic, which is that 25% of young adults 25 years old who, who have autism have never held a paying job in their life. And through fundraising, we were able to start giving stipends to our autistic writers and actors. And it was both fulfilling for me and also disheartening to see how surprised they were, even though they knew that I was going to pay them, that they were being paid and, and that I was working so hard to, to make sure that they got paid. Um, in a way, they assumed that their participation was more of a liability for me and for our company than, than an asset. And I explained to them that, look, your, what you bring to the table is so incredibly valuable in and of itself. And me paying you is not charity. It's because of the value that you add. So I'm, I'm very excited for the future of the Autism Theater Project and specifically for the future of The Voice Inside and the jobs that we will be able to create as we continue to grow this project.